Snackers. Matt DiNapoli here. I'm a manager of developer advocacy with Cisco DevNet. Hey, Snackers. Kareem Iskander. I'm a tech advocate with Cisco Learning and Certification. Welcome to episode 58 of DevNet Snack Minutes. DevNet Snack Minute is your weekly 10-minute all things DevNet, giving you a quick, fun way to learn about Cisco APIs, coding, and just some cool stuff. Uh, so about a year ago, we had this guest on uh, to talk to us about the launch of Yang Suite, uh, which was replacing uh, the previous tool called Yang Explorer. Uh, he showed us cool demos, talked about what it could do, uh, but now he's back to show us a bunch of cool updates to it and some very useful things that, that you guys can uh, do with the updates to Yang Suite. So Jeremy, if you don't mind introducing yourself. For sure. Thanks, Matt. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Jeremy Coho, Technical Marketing with Cisco Systems. Uh, and thanks for inviting me back to the Snack Minute. Uh, I was back uh, on initially about a year ago for the uh, ninth episode, uh, talking about Yang Suite in the initial release. Uh, and now we're back here uh, talking about all the updates, what we've delivered since January, as well as what's coming uh, in the next release. So if you're not familiar with Cisco Yang Suite, it's a Yang API testing and validation environment. Essentially, we can use this tooling against our Cisco operating systems of XE, XR, and NX, and the Yang-based APIs like NetConf and RESTConf, as well as GNMI and gRPC. So we can use this tooling to interact with all the APIs and really help us understand what we can do with this tool. So we initially released Yang Suite and the core plugins back in January. That's when uh, I was on here last for episode nine. And today we're talking specifically about what was in the second release, RESTConf and GNMI. We'll have some demos. Um, we'll talk about what the actual plugins can do. And then we'll give you a sneak peek into what's coming in the next release. Uh, there's three or four, uh, several features that are coming. Um, so let, let me pause here and uh, we can discuss uh, some other features. Just for those who are not really familiar with the Yang Suite, <clears throat> we, we have an idea of what it is. Just tell us a little bit in like two seconds, what are the, the ways you can um, download and set up Yang Suite? Yep. So when you want to download and set up Cisco Yang Suite, um, there's two ways, right? We can start off at developer.cisco.com slash Yang Suite. Uh, that's where we have all the documentation, the details, uh, the quick start, uh, links to the sandboxes uh, and the learning labs. Uh, but of course, you can go directly to GitHub, right? You can clone the repository down there, uh, build the Docker container and get started directly from there. Sweet. So Kareem, you asked about how to get started with Yang Suite. Uh, we talked about using uh, Docker and GitHub in the last episode, um, but we're actually gonna be introducing pip install support in the next release. So instead of going to GitHub, you'll be able to do a direct uh, pip install Yang Suite, uh, and you'll be able to run the tool uh, directly that way. So one less, uh, one less uh, hoop to jump through to get this tooling going. Oh, that's very cool. Very cool. And we then should call uh, it, we should call it Yang Sweet S W E E T. <laughs> How long have you been sitting on that one, Kareem? <laughs> yeah, I've been thinking about it for a bit. <laughs> well, we are actually thinking of some naming changes, actually, because uh, as you can see on here, we have a little teaser into some further outwork that's happening with GNOI, right? The gRPC network operations interface. Now, this is uh, an, an API that doesn't use Yang, right? It uses Protobuf, right? So, you know, is it appropriate to call the tooling uh, Yang Suite or, you know, bake this functionality into this tooling? Uh, so we'll see where this goes. Well, and you already support GNMI and, G, or and gRPC, so um, it's more potentially apropos to change it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And those also use Yang uh, in addition to the protobuf APIs. Right? But what we've uh, really released in the last uh, year, the last six months, is the RESTConf plugin. This uh, essentially, um, you know, within DevNet, we work a lot with Postman uh, for REST-based APIs. Uh, but for working with REST conf based APIs, uh, we still had to go understand the Yang, uh, the Yang data model and the operations there. So really what Yang Suite uh, with the REST conf plugin does is it allows us to load the data model, the Yang data model, and then interact with it using the Swagger UI. Uh, a lot of us are going to be familiar with this. So it's a point and click uh, interface to REST. So essentially Yang Suite abstracts the Yang uh, data models and uh, puts it into this common REST format that uh, developers are really comfortable working with. This is so nice because um, I remember uh, when I was playing around with Yang Suite previously last year, 
I'd have to get the data model in XML, and then I'd have to kind of do some translations to, to play with the RESTConf interfaces. And so this is really exciting because now I can just copy and paste the, the actual endpoints um, without having to uh, try and figure them out from the XML output through NetConf. <laughs> Yep, exactly. It's one less tooling or one less hurdle that you need to jump through. Just make it a lot easier to go in here and and work with the API. Right? We can actually go in there. We can understand the operations. So in this case, we're looking at a an operational data model. So we're only uh, permitted to do gets. But if we look at a config uh, or the native data model, then we can do posts and puts and patches. We can uh, absolutely modify the interfaces and and work with all the settings. Well, that's really cool because now we're, what we're seeing is the interaction is we would have historically seen it with the NetConf interface, but now through RESTConf. So that's really exciting. Yeah, exactly here. So in this case, we've loaded the Cisco native data model that models all of the configuration uh, practically for Cisco iOS XE. In this case, we're working with the loopback uh, interface, and we're going to go and uh, retrieve the data from that, as well as we can do a post, right? We can go in there and we can say, hey, I want to go create a new loopback called, you know, loopback number zero, and we want to put this IP address on it. So we can fill all those details within Yang Suite RESTConf and then submit that and post that up to the device and actually uh, and modify the configuration that way. Yeah, this is great. Actually, it makes <clears throat> makes as you're automating, it makes your life easy. Like just it, I, from episode nine, if I if I'm not mistaken, you can actually generate the Python as well um, with your calls, right? Yep, absolutely. If you want to see that in action, we can move over there to the live demo and we can uh, generate some Python from NetConf. Um, we are going to be talking about that feature actually, uh, and I can just move up to the slide right now actually, which is. Um, the NetConf payload uh, to Ansible, right? So you're actually asking uh, about this generated Python script uh, that's feature or that's a feature within the NetConf plugin. So uh, we're actually asking for this functionality to be built into the uh, RESTConf plugin as well as to GNMI. So if you're working with either of those APIs, you can also easily get some Python code. And then uh, similarly on the new functionality for Ansible, right? We're uh, saying now we actually have this. Uh, we can demo. We can demo this as well, where we can build our XML in NetConf. We can build our payload, and then we can say save this to an Ansible YAML. Uh, it generates a file like we see on the left that we can essentially just plug into Ansible or abstract into uh, whatever CI/CD systems that we have. Uh, that basically take the Yang modeled payload that we're using Yang Suite to generate, and then apply that as needed. Are you guys getting feedback on the tooling as um, people that are uh, you looking to automate and using it as a as a research and setup tool, or are people actually using this actively in their environments as their kind of management tool? We're mostly seeing customers use this as a management or as testing, right? So to understand the APIs and and abstract that data and put it into other systems and toolings. Okay. Um, but uh, with that being said, let's, if we talk about some of the other functionality, uh, if I put it back to this slide that's coming uh, in the next release, uh, this gRPC dial out uh, with TLS support, um, we're doing some innovations into the telemetry receiver in Yang Suite uh, to support some other integrations. So it's more conceivable now that uh, customers can leave Yang Suite running as an intermediary tooling that can receive the telemetry data and then push it out. Uh, in this case, we're doing an integration directly with Elasticsearch. Ooh, so we'll push that data nice. directly into the Elasticsearch database where you can connect your cabana and then visualize that data. Oh, that's really fun. That's You guys are doing some great work here on Yang Suite. Um, and I know when we first were working together on putting the, the Deaf Center, um, you know, we we're running into, you know, what how we can uh, get it out there and and just within a year, just getting that many features in and and you're still building on it. That's just tremendous. Um, great job, to be honest. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Kareem. Yeah, it's a, it's definitely a team effort. Um, and actually, Yang Suite, uh, I think as as we mentioned, right, it's been around for you know over five years uh, internally to Cisco. Right, so there's various development teams that are using it for you know testing and validation of all the different features and functionalities of the APIs and of the individual features on XE. Uh, and the other operating systems. So lots of uh, lots of use internally, and now you know. Again, very pleased to be able to offer this freely available uh, to the community. Yeah, super exciting. So the other uh, feature and plugin that we're delivering, or that we've already delivered, in addition to RESTConf, is the GNMI plugin. So again, this is a full-featured GNMI client uh, that supports GET, 
set, and subscribe, so the three main operations of the API. Uh, and it works with all the data models, so we can set the encoding and the origin, so we can use open config or native data models. Again, very similar to the netconf plugin, um, where we uh, load the data model, uh, make the config changes or the gets or sets that we need, as well as subscribes if we want to do that. Uh, and then we send that JSON encoded payload uh, through the API. So what does that look like in the demo? Uh, we'll run this through here. Same workflow uh, that we've seen, right? You might uh, recognize the plugin. You might actually mistake it for the NetConf plugin because um, you know, the setup is so similar. But you'll quickly notice there's a couple different API operations uh, that are supported. But the workflow is essentially the same. Uh, here we've loaded the data model. We're just going to do a get um, what on, on star, right, for all interfaces on this device. Right? So we can see us sending this uh, payload. And then we're going to get the response back that shows us you know, what's the stats, what's the counters, uh, what's all the configuration uh, that's needed or that's set on here. Right? So we can see VLAN 1, uh, these other VLANs, as well as the actual uh, physical interfaces, the stats and counters, the MAC addresses, et cetera. So that's, um, that's the Yang Suite GNMI uh, plugin um, uh, in a nutshell. That's awesome. Um, multiple ways to skin those cats, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Jeremy, this is great. Um, it's you know, it's always a pleasure having you on our show. Uh, I can't wait to see what you guys are going to de- do with uh, you know further with this. Uh, I know, I know, I'm excited about it. Uh, but um, thank you for joining us today. Um, that's all the time we have, Snackers. Thank you for your time, and uh, see you next time. <laughs>